Qali fillah, a final message to my dear brothers who studied Islamic knowledge. This is a heavy weight upon you. If you have sought Islamic knowledge, you must spread it. The zakah on money is obligatory, but the zakah on knowledge is even more obligatory. The Prophet ﷺ says to the Muslims, Reach to the people the message, even if it's one verse. You as a person who have studied knowledge, you don't have one verse, you have hundreds, thousands of verses. Teach it. You shall make it clear to the people, I shall not hide this knowledge. Fear no one except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When you start teaching, of course, difficulties will be there. Trials will be there. However, know that you're not the first one to go through trials. This is the same path that the prophets of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala went through. And the more trials you get, the higher your status is with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. People will misbehave towards you. People will insult you. People will backbite you. They will slander you. Some of them might beat you up. But as long as you know your goal and your path, stick to it, O student of knowledge. Let this deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reach every single house. This is an amana. This is a heavy trust that has been kept upon you. Some of us, Allah, we studied under scholarships. The Muslims paid for us our education. We went to Saudi, some of us. The teachers, we did not pay school fees. We were given books. The teachers were being paid on our behalf. The administration, the housing was free. The health care was free. The transport was subsidized. The food was subsidized. We were given every, every month almost $200 pocket money. The university spent on us on behalf of the Muslims. Perhaps they spent $10,000 per year. Some of us were there for four years, 10 years. How much money is that? It's not our money. This is from the money of the Muslims. The least you can do, Ikhani Fillah, to save your neck from the hellfire, to save yourself from being asked by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, where did you take this knowledge? This knowledge that I favored upon you, I didn't give this favor upon others. The Prophet ﷺ says, Man If Allah wants good upon his servant, he gives him knowledge of the religion. Allah chose you from millions and millions of people to seek this knowledge. Then after you seek this knowledge, and you've kept it in your heart, and all the books that you have, and all the ilm that you have, then you go sit in your house, you go look for rizq in the morning, and at night you're with your family, and you leave the Muslims, some of them, they want it more than water. They want it more than food. They want to know what is the Quran of Allah telling me? What is the Sunnah of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam telling me? They want to understand the book of Allah. They start in prayer and they do not understand what is Allah telling them. Yet you are staying at home and hiding this knowledge. Khali fillah, you shall be amongst the very first people who shall be taken to the hellfire on the day of judgment. Because you have to look at your intention, number one. Do you seek this knowledge so that the people will say, MashaAllah, he has a good recitation of the Quran. MashaAllah, he memorizes so much. MashaAllah, this shaykh speaks out of memory, does not even need a book. MashaAllah, you are praised by the people. Allah has not praised you. Go to the hellfire. You are amongst the first people. Or did you seek this knowledge so the people will call you shaykh, so the people will call you doctor, so the people will call you alim. Did you seek this knowledge for this positional status? This is an amana. Every single person who has sought knowledge of Islam, even if they were paying their school fees, they must spread that knowledge. Number two, they have to spread that knowledge in the truthful manner. You, when you sit here in front, you're not speaking on your behalf. You're not speaking of a political party or for your tribe or for an affiliation. You are a spokesman for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
When you speak here, you're speaking for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Remember that this chair is not a light weight. This is a heavy position that you've been given. So remember that this is an aman upon you. And also, just for benefit, people should avoid coming to the member. This member is, as I mentioned, you're a spokesman for Allah. This is not the member for engineers. This is not the member for professors. This is not the member for doctors. They have their places to talk about. This is a member for the food of the soul. This is a member for the scholars of Islam and the students of knowledge. وآخر دعوانا الحمد لله رب العالمين والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته